The population of the U.S. is expected to grow between 15 and 20 percent by 2045. We really need to help prioritize a couple different areas. When it comes to health equity, um, that really is a crisis in the United States that needs to be dealt with. As we think about the convergence of healthcare and technology, it really brings together the rise of innovation in the ecosystem, but we need to do that in a smart way. Over the last 12 years, the Science Center has supported over 600 startups in our ecosystem who have gone on to raise a billion dollars in follow-on capital and have a persistence rate of 85%, uh, which is amazing. The Science Center fills gaps that life sciences and healthcare technology companies face on their pathway from bench to bedside. We sit at the intersection of innovation and entrepreneurship and economic development and really serve as an innovation intermediary, which is really the connective tissue of all of these different activities to accelerate new ideas and solutions into the marketplace. The key with our commercialization programs is really to offer to the startups the right expertise at the right time in the right amount to help them towards their next fundable milestone. Our latest economic impact report showed that the activities of the Science Center contribute to a $13 billion economic impact in the greater Philadelphia region. The Science Center has many programs that independently power progress and impact lives. It is these intersections that connect potential and opportunity to unlock possibilities. Stell Life is a technology company where we have patented technology that passively pairs with the kinds of devices you use at home to take care of your health, like a scale, a blood pressure cuff, a thermometer, a pulse oximeter. Many low-income individuals have phones that have very limited text capability, don't have Wi-Fi, or are shared between people or families. We take that data and we transmit it directly into your medical record. And you don't need a phone or a tablet or Wi-Fi or cellular at your house for that connectivity and transmission to happen. Pre-pandemic, and we were subleasing space, and when COVID hit and all the companies had to close, they evicted us. But we had to stay in business because we were directly taking care of patients with COVID. Somebody recommended the Science Center, so we called and said, hi, we're homeless. And the Science Center said, absolutely no questions asked. Come, what do you need and how can we help? In Philadelphia, that means bringing together the right people and the right organizations. No one organization can do it alone, so it's really incumbent to bring together the ecosystem. At Ohm Life Tech, we are developing RNA targeting therapies for cancer and diseases of the nervous system. We are trying to find uh, pharmaceutical companies who may want to license our asset for further development or who want to collaborate with us so that we can co-develop this asset towards IND naming studies in phase one. Science Center can help us or you know, we can work with them in further streamline the process because they still have a lot of connections to pharmaceutical companies. And here also we have this program by the Science Center called Venture Cafe. We go down, uh, you know, network with people and try to meet with fellow CEOs, fellow founders, and try to see what problems you have and how we can solve them collectively. Venture Cafe is a weekly mini conference that brings together the innovation ecosystem in Philadelphia to learn, connect, and grow. Venture Cafe happening on a regular basis really enables a home for Philadelphia innovators, creators, investors, and entrepreneurs to know that on a Thursday evening, there's gonna be a group of like-minded people that they can connect with. 
And what it really does is it enables the startups throughout the ecosystem to benefit from great speakers from around the world and around the country who are giving them the cutting edge tools in their toolbox to be successful. I'm one of the more senior members of the startup community here at the Science Center. So this was a really big learning curve um, for me to be able to come into this environment. And so while I've had the benefit of being able to knock on the Science Center leadership's door and say, what does it mean to go to a venture capital company and ask for money, like, can you guide me on that? They've also been able to knock on my door. We've done really creative things together, like develop NIH grants. It's been an interesting journey being both student and teacher, and I think everybody in the Science Center plays a little of both of those roles. And that's, I think, what makes it unique and really innovative. Our STEM education program is free year-long programming for Philadelphia high school and middle school students. It really is a skilled-based career exposure curriculum. A lot of the premise is you can't be what you can't see. Many of the students who participate in the program don't have family members who are in the life sciences or healthcare ecosystem. We're exposing them to this thriving, family-sustaining career opportunities. The Science Center is a natural convener with such an amazing history and ecosystem that wants the organization to thrive and be successful, who needs us and our amazing team here at the Science Center to continue to partner with them and collaborate to help the next generation of entrepreneurs, of STEM talent to really create a richer Philadelphia ecosystem. What's not to love about that?